Uh, you feel me? Shout out yeah. to you. See it. It's G how we. Oh, that boy ready. Ready, man. Y'all boys be safe at home coming this weekend, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I catch y'all on the flip. Catch y'all on the next one. But um, college CFP just dropped their college yeah. football top 25, the first one of the year. Um, Things didn't come out quite expected for most. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about this last week and, you know, how much does strength of schedule play in the ranking? <coughs> and it's no surprise that – Ohio State is sitting at number one in the first in our in the initial CFP playoff uh, rankings, followed by Georgia, Georgia at number two, Michigan at number three, Florida State at number four, mm-hmm. Washington and Oregon being the first two out. Uh, we got five eight and zero teams sitting at the top. What did y'all not like? Or like about the rankings. I like I like that they can do stuff like that because one of those teams automatically gonna get knocked out. Yeah, that's why it doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's why it don't matter right now. Because that number one team is definitely gonna get knocked out when the boys go head head to head. Y'all on the same division in the conference? Yeah, so they play last week to the game. They play last week every year. Yeah. So only one of every them will year. make the uh championship game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the championship game is the game. The and only way the, the only way both of them can make it is like one of those first if Washington have like an L or two and both of them can stay in. Cause I don't see Oregon jumping a one loss Michigan or a one loss Ohio State. When 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 Alabama beats LSU this year, I mean this weekend by a mile, we're gonna go ahead and surpass Texas. Texas is water. Let's no, you can't they gotta, Y'all you literally, can't. They literally lost that head to head. You can't do that. Yeah, that head to okay. head is what's keeping them ahead. Okay. <laughs> you say what you want, bro. Because at the end of the day, even you don't want to put us ahead now, we're going to beat Georgia in the SEC championship, bro. <laughs> don't worry about it. We keep yeah. receipts on our side. Yeah. yeah. We keep receipts. Hey, what, what did he be saying? What, what, what he said about uh, Big 12? He had, to, he had to eat the words about the Big 12 last year. So don't worry. Did about I? Did I? Oh, did I, well, I just went one game ahead because we saw the worst championship performance in all of sports by TCU. They lost by 50 points on New Year's. Was it New Year's? No, it was the week after New Year's. Yeah. Started the year off with a 50-point L for all sports. Congratulations. You made it. And then you got sent to the back alley. You got beat up. And then Colorado had their turn next. <laughs> Got him, got him. Hey man, I think I think the college football, the CFP really respected the schedule. Um, yeah. They they really respected the schedule this year as far as putting Ohio State one. Like I said, like we discussed, they definitely had the strongest schedule this year. It don't um, matter. Texas over Bama for the head to head. It's weird though because Texas beat Bama and Oklahoma beat Texas. Beat Texas. That's what I'm saying. Like. At nine. So it's like but Oklahoma just lost this weekend, didn't they? To Kansas. Oh, yeah, they, why is it not showing up? Yeah, 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 they did. Kansas they, did. 21. they did, they did, they did. So te- that will make Texas's loss better than Oklahoma's, which I can respect in that aspect. Yeah. Um Georgia has to play Ole Miss. Yeah, that's gonna be one of their first tests. Georgia and Michigan has not been battle tested this year. Um, when do y'all play Penn State? Michigan. Um, in two, let me go look. In two weeks, yeah, I played them the week before y'all play Ohio State. There's no way they did that to y'all, they wouldn't do that to y'all. LSU being the highest, yeah, we played them, we played them in two weeks, yeah, we play them, um, the 11th, and then we play Maryland, and then we play y'all. That's insane, mm. <laughs> that's insane. Um, is it gonna be insane when you see that we're not gonna struggle with them? You're gonna be sweating a little bit. I mean, y'all might as well, y'all y'all ain't struggling with nobody when you when you cheating on the sideline. Exactly. Hello. If you don't listen, what side? The most, winning, like, the most side? Coach, run, run, run. Listen, the most winning coach in the NFL has been caught cheating multiple times. Well, not winning Super Bowl winning coach. Let me say that. The most winning. The most. I changed it to Super Bowl winning. I literally just did that. 
I mean, Bill Belichick is the most winningest Super Bowl. Most winningest. There we oh, go. There we go. <laughs> most oh, my bad. Best. Oh, my bad. Let me go. English Probably. class, nigga. But I think that's Tom Brady, but that's another discussion. But anyway. Yeah. Um, Hey man, it's a, it's it also with the CFP. Um, there's a lot of defining games coming up. Heisman race looks completely different than it did. Yeah. Um, Caleb Williams is essentially out. Of yeah. the Heisman race He's just as USC it. is out of the top twenty-five. Um, mm-hmm. Michael Penix is currently the favorite. Um, I'm not surprised at all, but he got a gauntlet to go through. He got a gauntlet to go through. They got to play Utah, Oregon State, and I think they got one more ranked game left on their schedule. So if he gets through that undefeated, for sure they're in the playoffs, and he gets to take home the Heisman. But I don't see that coming from the Pac-12 or Pac-12 team. What, making it to the playoff or Heisman championship? You know, I don't – I mean, it, they go hand-in-hand. If if he makes it through that – if Washington makes it through that gauntlet they got for the last three out of four games um, of the season, which I don't see that happening. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. He's going to win Heisman, and he's and they're going to make the playoffs. But so you're saying that who 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 are you taking out of that top four to put them in? Michigan or Ohio State? One of them's got to go. If it's he's a don't want to do that because the Michigan wins, and it's if like it's a close point. game, if it's a close yeah. game, they'll both stay. But Georgia, if it's a then who you kicking out? Georgia. We're gonna beat them. In Florida the State. Game. I could I could kick out. Florida, Florida State. They get the L. Who are they gonna lose to? I say if they get L, you know, you never know, bro. Who are they they might lose to Virginia. I mean, yeah, North Carolina lost to them, so anything's possible. Whoa, 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 whoa! North Carolina not ranked. They ranked bro, they lost five. To, didn't they lose to Virginia and Georgia Tech the other night? They didn't lose to Georgia Tech. They did. Bro, I work with Georgia Tech alone. <laughs> Bro, bro, Drake May they did lose. Drake May, Caleb Williams was like on Johnson Family Vacation. They basically just threw their Heisman out the window. Shut <laughs> no out of there, bro. That is so trash, bro. It's, it's trash, trash, bro. It's trash. Trash. They getting that paper though. Yeah, that shit don't matter. Yeah. They killing their draft stock. They're not killing their mm-hmm. draft stock. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, you know never what? mind. Never mind. That boy had 310, 14. I mean. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. He played okay. It's one of those things where, like, I, I don't know if it's NIL's fault, but this might be one of the worst Heisman years I've ever seen. Yes, because, listen, if Washington lose a game or two, you know who's going to be the, the top Florida candidate? Right? Marvin no. Maserati Harrison Jr. No, bro. In voting Marvin right now? No. Maserati Harris Jr. No, they have our quarterback. He's not good. Or he's not good. He's not good. He's number two behind Buddy right now. What vote are you looking at? Let me go look. If Jaden Daniels beats Alabama this week. um. So you're doing the ifs. I'm saying right now. JJ is not second. Bro, why are you saying that LSU is going to burst stop? Jaden uh, Daniels has, has been getting better each week of the season. Um, He's definitely progressed. Even from his time at Arizona State, like he's a whole different quarterback. Like he's he's he looked pretty aight. Alabama's been too shaky. I don't know. Well, since when? I mean, come on, bro. Like if you don't watch if you don't watch CBS, I understand. I understand. I actually understand, but you gotta stop saying that. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. This this Heisman. It's it's just that the it's not that the players are bad. It's just like it's clear everybody was wrong. Everybody was wrong. Yeah. We were all wrong. Mm-hmm. Caleb Williams, he's out here throwing three pick games. Shador, he's literally a part of. I don't know. His it's like his office alignment are ushers. Oh, you want a sack? Right this way. <laughs> it sucks, but that's the worst office alignment I've ever seen in college history, bro. Yeah, they're that's they're pretty bad. They're pretty horrible. Bad. They're horrible. Coach, they need to clean house. Coach, coach too. But if you ask me, the Heisman favorite plays on none other than the number one team, Marvin Harrison. Is clearly the best player in college football this year. Yeah, that's not an argument. I'm mad at that. I'm not mad at that. And he, he literally is winning yeah. games by himself. Okay. Yes, hands down. Hands okay, down. okay. 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 But there's another. There's another person who's winning games by himself, but he got hurt. Yeah, he actually got hurt. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I'm gonna ask that question. If you're an NFL team, 
depending on and based on the how the league looks now, would you rather draft Marvin Harrison Jr. or Brock Bowers? 